Welcome back everyone. Okay, let's start putting this thing together. Okay, let's start by getting these warp engines together. Uh, the caps and the end on there. Okay, so uh, this is the starboard port engine. Uh, this one says right, so this one goes to this one and that one to that one. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to glue them just yet. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to need something on this. I just don't want any bare wires touching. That would be most unfortunate. here I don't want to glue these just yet um, just because I might need to adjust the light that lights up the backs here I need to do a light test Uh, look good. You got some hefty weight there. Okay, so I need to get these in place. Um, one is the port and starboard does it say yes, it's pretty self-explanatory when you go to put them on which one is port and starboard I guess This way. Those are looking good. Okay, I'll put these two pieces here together. I'm going to paint these. I know they're already uh, molded in the color that it's supposed to be. 
but it just it's it doesn't look normal so I'm going to um, prime it and then paint it in the um, color that it's supposed to be uh, a copper So while that is setting, um, <clears throat> I'm going to get this all done up here. Uh, I'm going to run a line from here to here so I get these two tied in together. Uh, line E here is the line that goes, that draws power to them. I'm going to connect it here. I was figuring I'll just use the connector here tie it into there on the end and um, that should do the trick Make sure that wire does not move all right got it uh, attached up to the board here perfection or what I got the back end they're all uh, colored up there they all look pretty good okay so let's get these uh, vents in here Got the the connection point there puttied, so you don't see the uh, the lines there where it connects. Looks pretty good. There we go, all repainted. Just got to put this all together now. Let's get these uh, connected to the engineering hull.
Okay, so I got it all in there. Um, now, for some reason, there was no bracket or anything along the side here uh, to keep the engine from uh, drooping down over time. So I just loaded up on glue around this section back in here to hold it in place so it doesn't eventually start drooping. Um, ultimately, it would have been nice to have like a, a bracket system going across here. I'm, I'm going to install one anyway, um, just to make sure that this thing does not droop. Just something like that. All right, now uh, I got J here, which goes to K uh, to be plugged into the board. So I'm just gonna get these soldered together on both sides here. Okay, uh, got everything all hooked up here. Got these lines hooked up to this side and going to the board. Let's do a quick light test. That's good. Okay. This is still going faster. Every time I try to do a reduction on the speed, it keeps messing up. I'm gonna try one more thing to slow that motor down just a little bit. But anyway, these here all light up quite nicely. Looks like they're gonna light up the windows beautifully. Woohoo! All right, I uh, got everything there. I got uh, uh, two five volt regulators on this and a 180 ohm resistor. So. I'd say they're both pretty uh, equal. Looks good now. Nice, nice. All right, I got this all connected up here now. Looks good. Good. Okay. Nothing worse. Looks good. All right. Sweet. Putting the engineering hull aside for now, uh, let's get the neck attached to the lower part of the hull here. bit of persuasion it finally went in. That is a very tight fit. Putty here, go around the outer edge here so you don't see the join line. Let that set overnight. Okay. Uh, so we got uh, O. Oh. And then we got this flasher here, which attaches to here.
do a light test first before I put anything together here. Last thing you want to do is <clears throat> put it all together, then do your light test and find something's not working, and you gotta pop it apart. See, something's not working. LED burnt out. It didn't burn out, it fell apart. new and un under there looks good another light test there we go all right so I'm putting an electrical tape on there just in case you know the top up here where this light is might touch the pins there you don't want to short just in case Not bad. Okay, I'm just gonna let that set overnight. Move on. Right, here it is the next day. Took all the clamps off, but then this section here didn't stick down, so I had to re-glue it and re-stick it down. Um, everything else looks good. I'm just gonna put the impulse engine covering on now. Got a little bit of a uh, little bit of this to cover up where light is coming through there. All right, so looking here, there's a line that goes around the upper hull here. That's a shade darker than the hull color. So, I gotta mask it off here to paint that area. Um, I saw the uh, original pictures of the filming model from, from the 60s, uh, and it had its ring, but I gotta figure out how wide it is, and then mask everything off, and then painted on and there's another section here when we put the uh, vehicle on there it is slight it is a light gray 
in that area. And then I gotta put 10 in these rings on the bottom of the hull. There's a lot more to this model than meets the eye when it comes to paint wise. Um, and they got the bridge section here back here is a darker gray. And the color for this ring here is a tan color. Goes all the way around. Now, uh, apparently though, it just goes in an arc up to a certain point. So I'm uh, a little confused because when I saw the picture of the original Enterprise, it looked like the arc went all the way around. I'll have to look at it again. Okay, so if it just goes in an arc, I gotta find out the points here where it goes in relation to the bridge dome. Okay, so I'll just do an arc. All right. All right, so I got this uh, deck tan right here. Pretty much the same color as that. That's what I'll use. Okay, using my protractor, uh, I came up with an angle of the arc is 24 degrees both sides there. From there to there. Now I just gotta figure out how thick to make this line okay so um doing a little bit of math i failed math but i had to do it anyway uh taking this picture here and upscaling the size to this size uh that was like three eighths of an inch there so come out to about three quarters size on the large model here but i kind of underestimated a little bit so it's going to be almost one full inch thickness to do this arc so there you have it the thickness there um so it starts at about here and goes all the way around over to this point over here all right, there we go. Got it all mapped out there. Just got to mask that off and paint. Okay, so I got this flexible masking tape here. If you don't have this, this works just fine. gonna put little masks on here and then mask off the rest of the hull here there we go all ready to go Okay, uh, when the color dried, it dried a little darker than I wanted, so I just had a very, very light coat of the hull color over top of that, and it looks much better. Okay, let's unmask it and see what it looks like. All right, that actually turned out really well. Wow. 
It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Somewhat. Mm, so good. Yeah, because it, it would have been a little bit darker than that if I hadn't sprayed on a light coat of the hull color over top. It just sort of helps blend it in a little bit more. Alright, time to get these halves together now. Um, all the wiring there looks good. Uh, do one last light test to make sure everything's working okay. One wire was popped off, but I uh, re-soldered it. This is going to be the tough part here, because it's not going to allow for this two halves to fit together. Uh, so, um, I did a little bit of refixing on here and touch up here and there with so hopefully it'll fit now i'm not going to glue it you don't need to once these two halves together it's it's in there real tight and it ain't coming out um okay let's get this done Still a tiny bit of a gap there, but uh, I can fill that in with the putty and just a quick paint job and it will look good. It's all closed up nice here. Looks good. It's not too bad. Looks nice. Okay. Okay, so uh, I got it to close up a little bit more. It's almost completely closed now. And when I added that third layer there, so looks good. Tiny bit of a repainting to do, but it looks good. Not bad at all. Well, that's it for this episode, everyone. In the next one, we are gonna do the final assembly. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions or you want me to do commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. See y'all later. Bye-bye.